Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have stepped out for the first time since rubbishing reports that the Duke had snubbed the King on his birthday as they claim they've had no contact from the monarch about his upcoming 75th celebrations. The couple were seen opening a new veteran center in downtown San Diego just days after shutting down claims that Harry had rejected an invitation from his father to see him on his birthday. Meghan looked classy in a sleek tailored black suit and was all smiles as she joined officials for the cutting of the ribbon, the Express reports. Meanwhile, the Duke seemed far more low-spirited than his wife and appeared to be frowning while listening to official speeches. The couple were thanked for their support while Meghan beamed and Harry gave a curt thank you. The opening of the Veteran Center marked their first official outing since last month where they jetted off to New York to mark World Mental Health Day. The inauguration came after the former royal couple spent the morning with veterans and active duty personnel at Camp Pendleton ahead of Veterans Day. However, over the past few days, Harry and Meghan have already been back in the center of the spotlight over reports of their potential return to the UK to celebrate the King's birthday on November 14. Join the Daily Records WhatsApp community here and get the latest news sent straight to your messages. Sources told the Sunday Times that the Duke of Sussex has been extended an olive branch by his father to join him at Clarence House with the rest of the family to mark his 75th but he had snubbed the monarch's invitation. A representative for the couple denied the claims on Tuesday as he stated that the couple had not been invited, which fueled a new wave of speculation about the true state of Harry's relationship with his father. The 39-year-old prince's once close bond with the king and his brother William fell apart after he and Meghan made a series of allegations about the way they were treated by the royals while they were still a part of the firm. Royal commentator Jenny Bond said that the Duke would likely have had to deal with a horribly awkward reunion had he actually been invited to his father's birthday. Bond told OK! Magazine, imagine how horribly awkward his presence would make the whole evening. What we have now is a pretty staple, happy family unit in the King and Queen, William and Catherine, the Edinburghs and the Princess Royal and their families. On the other side of the Atlantic, we have the estranged and disgruntled outsiders, Harry and Meghan. If they, or just Harry, rocked up at Clarence House it would inevitably put a real dampener on the celebration. The air is still heavy with recrimination and hurt on both sides. That needs to be sorted before the family can genuinely unite in celebration. In addition to taking aim at the King and Queen Camilla in his bombshell memoir Spare, Harry also hit out at the Prince and Princess of Wales after he claims they failed to make Meghan feel welcome in the royal family.